The action of the State Internal Revenue Service is taking a negative toll on activities of NDDC office on Motala Muhammad Way in Benin City as workers who were said to have constantly been reporting for duty parked their vehicles at the entrance of the establishment and take refuge in an opposite house owing to lack of access to their offices. Investigation revealed that other official activities of the commission now take place in an undisclosed address. Some concerned residents who spoke on the issue called on the two government parastatus to negotiate the issues at stake, maintaining that it is unheady for two government agencies to be flexing muscles over issues that could be resolved amicably, and called on the management of NDDC to do the needful and pay their taxes. For a government to function very well, every firm, every organization have to pay their tax. In the Western world, like the USA, the London, we do run to today, they be function because of the taxpayer money. Then I believe an organization like NDDC has to pay their tax for the government of that state to run very well. Uh, you know, the people that are supposed to work now, they are not in seat, they are not on seat. So people that are supposed to resume on, on duty now, they are not on seat because of the tax paying uh, money so issue so they have to resolve this issue between them and the government they have to pay the government so that the government can continue their work in the state to and speak with the the people in charge i think uh, when they come together and dialogue and know the problem then we all reason together and see that the Everything is working together. The Director, Task Intelligence and Enforcement of Edo State Internal Revenue Service, Mr. Victor Okumbe, could not be reached to speak on the steps taken so far to resolve the pending issues. Mr. Okumbe, however, said in a previous interview that the Commission is indebted to the State Internal Revenue Service on task matters to the tune of over 80 million naira. With interest and penalties added to it, gave rise to about 97 million. We got them informed. We wrote to them. They never responded. They never objected, which means they accepted. When we waited, they didn't pay. We had to go to the court to obtain court order, expecting motion, empowering us to destroy their premises. When contacted, the Edo State Commissioner in charge of NDDC, Mr. Peter Nogeu, who spoke via telephone interview said the Commission and management of Edo State Internal Revenue Service are holding fruitful deliberations in a bid to reopen the establishment. So, there was verification carried out, and I think a certain amount of money has been agreed. So, the level of corruption will be about 100 million naira. So, I think that Recently, applicants who visited Benin office of NDDC to submit their forms in the nationwide training on oil spillage could not gain access to the office following sealing off of the establishment. Wellington Akodeja reporting.